Carroll, the new man in charge in Seattle. And here we take a look at DeCarroll's coaching resume. 13 years as a, a coordinator or defensive backs coach before he took over uh, for the New England, or the, new, uh, the Jets first. And then he had an opportunity to be the head coach of the uh, New England Patriots where he took that team to the playoffs uh, uh, two years in a row. Uh, didn't have as much success uh, with the Jets. Uh, Tom, is Pete Carroll going to be successful in Seattle? I think he will, and I think it's going to take some time, friend. You don't go from being 5 and 11 one year to 11 and 5 very often. Uh, look, you have to be a people person. You have to be able to manage 53 different personalities, and I think Pete will be able to do that again at the NFL level. I think Pete will learn from some of the mistakes he made in his first two stints as an NFL head coach. He'll tweak some things. He'll make some changes. Ultimately, it comes down to Jamie players and I think this is a Seahawks team that really upgraded itself in the draft I think Pete's got some things to work with and ultimately again I don't think it happens overnight but I think that Pete Carroll will do just fine in Seattle and that's why I think he'll be successful he showed us during the draft he still can evaluate talent the acquisitions of guys like Leon Wash in addition to having two quality picks passing up his safety which was a highly rated safety going to get arguably the best safety on the board shows me he knows what he's doing my only problem with Pete Carroll and any other guy who comes from college. You know, we talk about Antrell, or Myron Rowe, the kid from Florida State. We want him to be, you know, only have one place to go. We don't want him to be a Rhodes Scholar and have somewhere else to go. Well, these coaches who come from college to the NFL, they have places to go. That's why you saw Saban, he scurried on back to Alabama. You saw Bobby Petrino, he scurried on back and took a college job. And so that's the one little problem I have with college coaching, but I think Pete will be successful. Well, and I think uh, just to, to back up Pete Carroll, he started out to, in the NFL game and it spent years and years around the National But it's football the option league, so. of being able to go somewhere else. Just like they want players to have a sense of desperation about the game, you want a coach to have a, a sense of desperation in the same fashion. And let's face it, guys, he finds himself at a pretty nice spot in the NFC West against some pretty manageable opponents week in and week out. So, yeah, I think Pete Carroll's going to do just fine. I'm not predicting a division crown in year one of his tenure in Seattle, but I think they'll do okay in Seattle. Now, quickly, how dicey of a situation is he in with Matt Hasselbeck, who's approaching uh, the, towards the end of his career, Jamie? I, don't th I think he's fine. I think Matt, can, you know, if they fortify the offensive line, I think Matt will be okay. And if not, I mean, they've made the decision. David White is the guy that they think could take over for Charlie Matt. White. Charlie White. Charlie White. Excuse me, I put his dad on. That's how I'm dating myself. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> Yeah, I think it, it all it, it matters how well they protect Matt Hasselbeck. I feel, still think he has something left in the tank, but he spent a lot of time on his back due to poor offensive line play the last few years. So you got to keep him upright and you got to keep him healthy.